The Miami City Commission tackled a range of community concerns in their April 11th meeting, making key decisions that will directly impact residents. They authorized funding to assist homeless individuals and establish a special revenue project for the Homeless Management Information System. The Miami City Commission allocated funds from the Miami for Everyone program to support employment and job training programs. Additionally, they approved agreements to establish the City of Miami Shelter and Transitional Housing Program for women and families experiencing homelessness. Also, they accepted a FEMA Hazard Mitigation Reimbursement Grant Award to strengthen Fire Station No. 8. The Commission passed a resolution authorizing the City Manager to negotiate and execute an interlocal agreement between the City of Miami and Miami-Dade County for the County Office of the Inspector General to exercise its powers over the City until the City establishes its own Office of the Independent Inspector General. The City Administration was directed by the Commission, in accordance with a resolution, to examine and enforce state laws and codes concerning synthetic cannabis sales within the City by smoke shops. The city manager was directed to develop an occupant with autism decal program for the Miami Police Department, create a website for residents to provide information about individuals with autism, and identify funds for the decal program. Lastly, the commission supported the co-designation by Miami-Dade County of a portion of Tumiami Canal Road within the city limits as Sorthilda Alonso. To access further details and information regarding the decisions made during the Miami City Commission meeting, we encourage you to visit our website at miami.gov or follow us on our social media platforms. Comprehensive recordings of the entire meeting can be found on our website, allowing you to catch up on any discussions you may have missed.